Welcome to Ancient Greece. The next few slides will offer different resources on the geography of ancient Greece to help you answer the essential question, how did geography shape people's lives? For ancient Greece, there will be an introduction, a lesson, and a wrap-up activity. Complete each introduction, lesson, and wrap-up activity before turning in your assignment into Google Classroom. To begin, click the link at the top, starting with Introduction. For Ancient Greece, your introduction activity is to click here to watch the video, Impact of Geography on Early Greece. Upon concluding the video, take a look at this image here. Looks like a beautiful place to vacation. This photograph shows part of the coastline of Greece. Imagine if you were to call this coastline your home. Think about what challenges people might face living here. In the text box at the bottom right of this slide, you're going to answer that question. What challenges might people face living here? A sentence starter has been provided for you. A few challenges of living here would be. And then go ahead and use your own words to answer and complete this question. When you are finished, that is the conclusion of the introduction activity. Find your way up to the lesson tab, click it to move on. This is your lesson for ancient Greece. You're going to be reading a text called How Did Geography Shape the Greek World? Here are your expectations for this lesson. The first thing that you need to do is click the link above to make your own copy of the text. Please don't forget to rename your copy with your name on it. When you've done that, the second thing is you're going to read and highlight the text, How Did Geography Shape the Greek World? You'll notice that there's several blue text in this Google document that are underlined. Those are called hyperlinks. At each hyperlink, click the text to watch the short video clip with more information on that geographical feature. You'll also notice that there are stopping points in this document. At each stopping point, summarize the information you have learned in that paragraph in the table. Try to keep your summaries to one to two sentences with keeping the main ideas in mind. After you've read, highlighted, watched the videos, and completed the stopping points, Add this text to your Google Classroom assignment in order for your teacher to provide you with feedback. This concludes the lesson activity. When you're done, go ahead and click the wrap-up activity. The wrap-up activity for Ancient Greece is called drag and drop. You'll notice in the middle we see that there is a table with causes that are blank, events that have specific events in them, and effects that are blank. You're going to use what you've read in the text to complete this drag and drop activity. For each event in the middle, drag the correct cause to the box to the left and the correct effects to the box to the right. A good resource to help you complete this activity will be the text. I suggest having both open at the same time so you can toggle back and forth to complete this activity. After you complete the wrap-up activity, you are done for your social studies activity for the day.